Ocean State Sessions features performances by New England musicians and brings you the stories behind the songs. Coming up on Ocean State Sessions, Chance Emerson showcases his acoustic sound. Bring some in and start a fire. How you been? How you doing late? Your hands against my body. I know I should have Chance eagerly waits to jump head first into stardom while Northeast Traffic offers up some funky rock jams. Northeast Traffic is content to take things a little slower and savor their friendship instead. Hi, this is a song called House We Share. It's about um, the first time someone falls in love and moving into a little cabin in the woods. Three stacks of wood in the cabinet. So if you want a fire, we have it. Honey, this hearth is ours, and I think we're gonna build something. I set the table with a three-course menu, cause I learned to cook to impress you. The oven's warm, stands by the fire, I mean it. So hand in hand, I wonder where we'll go. Arms in the Twirling through our kitchen I run my fingers through your hair And I don't care About money or the complications I live for this house we share Two young lovers And we're just sleeping now But we dream of only waking We'll make love on a queen-size mattress Sink into your pads and habits My body's yours To the second I turn to nothing So hand in hand I, I wonder where we'll go Arms in the air We're twirling our kitchen I run my fingers through your hair and I don't care about money or the complications I live for this house we share Together in under a season. I've wanted to start this life for longer than I can remember. In these four walls, you light me up with your splendor. I feel my heartbeat shift, and my world has you in the center. My mom made me actually um, learn piano as a kid. I hated it so much. Um, that when I turned 10, I asked for my birthday to quit. That was all I wanted. I was like, I don't need any kind of cake or anything. I don't want to party. I don't want to do anything. I just want to not do music anymore. Like, I hate it. I'm all fired up. Put into hands on you now. This ain't lost. If you told me I would be releasing a song and on tour with Blues Traveler, with like, you know, my favorite people in the world, my bandmates, I, I think I would have laughed at you and been like, no way. This 
this is a weird double life. I'm missing the first three weeks of school to be on the road, actually. It's hard to be like a weekend warrior when you're stuck, um, kind of also trying to finish all your assignments on the weekends. I might be one of the few folks in the world who've had to run off stage after like a big theater show with my band and go backstage and work on a computer science project. When I was 19, I went to Newport Folk Fest, um, and I got to watch a bunch of artists, and it was the first time I'd ever gone to a music festival. And I saw an artist play, and I was like, I want to do that. How do I do that? I got a little pep talk after their set, and, and they were like, you should do this. You can do this. And then I got to play like, the open mic there the next day, and the guy who hosted the open mic, open mic Nick Noble, um, he was like, you will play here one day. Without further ado, rising from the delightfully obnoxious obscurity of the open mic to the brilliance of a featured appearance here on the foundation stage of the Newport Folk Festival. Let's hear it up for Chance Emerson. And so having that kind of conviction and belief from some people who were like at, you know, the first festival I'd ever gone to, some like real, like real musicians, I was like, okay, maybe I can do this. The fact that I, I am where I am now speaks more to my parents being really good parents because they were like, I, they, I think they saw maybe some kind of like musical talent in me or something that I didn't see at the time and they were like, don't quit, just switch. Try and direct your, your passion for art into a different instrument. Understand. Really for me, it's about trying to write something that feels very real, like very true um, and very timeless. I think that, you know, my favorite songs, many of them are from 30, 40, 50 years ago and they ring true to me in this particular moment in my life and I'm sure they're gonna ring true to me when I'm like 60 years old. And I think those are the greatest songs. Those are the songs that don't fade out of style. They're not gimmicky, they're not a fad. They're just real, honest pieces of art. Hi, this is a song called Angela. Um, it's a song that I wrote with my band, actually, at the time, um, with Will in his college dorm basement, which was across the street from mine. Um, and we were in a, uh, base room, or a basement kitchen room, and so our friend Jack was playing drums on a trash can. And we wanted to make a song that we could play that'd be rowdy and raucous and, and rocky. And we started out, I think as every band does, playing it only at basement shows and weird, you know, underground parties. And it kind of followed us as we became, I guess, a little bit more professional of a band. And we just kept playing the song because the crowds really liked it and we liked playing it. Um, and I'm excited to play it here today as a more stripped down version. It's called Angela. I toss and turn at 7.30 I had the same damn dream again. We drove back to the wooden cabin, drifting to make amends. There's no wood inside the cabinet. Bring some in and start a fire. How you been? How you doing late? Your hands against my body. I know I should miss you, Angel. on my mind Angela No, I'm not doing fine without you, dear
was a storm in New York City. Dad said that the roads might close. So we drove out at 3 a.m. so he could get us home. All I do is worry, worry. All I did was overthink. Drank you up a like hurry, hurry. Threw you up in a sink. All right, well, we are Northeast Traffic. We're so happy to be here at Big Nice Studio with PBS. Thank you, Dewey, for bringing us on. It's going to be an awesome, uh, awesome recording today. We, uh, we're from Providence, Rhode Island. We've been together for 11, 12 years, uh, so it's been a while. We met each other in high school. I've known Burke since uh, preschool, so we've been a solid group of friends for a long, long time. Uh, we're happy to still be able to be making music in, in Rhode Island. Uh, this, this first one that we're going to play is called Cowbell One. This is a new song. Uh, we're in the process of working on a new record that we're going to be recording in October, November, uh, somewhere around that time. So uh, we're looking forward to recording that and getting some music good to go uh, for that time. So this is uh, one of the first ones on that. It's called Cowbell One. Um, I wrote the lyrics. It's a little bit about uh, how, you know, life in general can be uh, encompassing, can really suck you up. So, you know, just taking a step back, you know, even, you know, hobbies and passions and uh, you know, relationships, life, work, everything can become um, overwhelming at times. So just to take a step back and appreciate it for what it is and uh, enjoy it, not let it go by. This one's Cowbell One. Awesome. 
I started playing music when I was nine. Um, my dad he owned a drum set in the 80s that lived at my grandmother's house. And from the summer of, I, I want to say like fourth to fifth grade, the drum set came to, to my parents' house and I just started kind of whacking away at it. And uh, my old man one day came downstairs and was like, all right, like if you're going to play this, like this is how it goes. And uh, I was just like, and I just kind of like picked it up like right away and I think that was it. I just played drums for like three years. That's when I started taking lessons when I was around 12 till about 19. One, two, one, now I give lessons here at uh, Dance Music Center. Ten. Nice. Let's see it one more time. Here I have 12 students. I also teach at Providence School of Music, the Fall River Arts Academy, and Newport Music. Alex works at Something Fishy. Sam is an electrician. Burke works at the VA home, and Nick works in, in music. All of us have day jobs. Northeast traffic is uh, more of a passion. We've been playing together since 2010. I had just graduated LaSalle Academy, and Nick uh, Sam and Alex also went to LaSalle. They were two years younger than me. I had graduated and I was bummed that I wasn't playing with anyone. Sam called me and was like, hey, do you want to play in a band with us, you know, with Alex, Nick and myself? And I was like, yeah, but only if we play gigs. That was like my thing. Like, I want to play shows. And uh, I remember the first time we practiced, it was like, like around 13 years ago, and we were like playing this tune. It had like this samba drum feel in it, and it had this very like Latin-y guitar feel. And I remember us just jamming and kind of looking at each other like, whoa, this is cool. We're making this music? Like, this is like mind-blowing, you know? And I just don't think we've stopped since. <laughs> We definitely have those moments of just like, you know, I like look up and laugh at each other while we're playing, you know. Uh, recently, I remember we were just playing, and I remember looking up and being like, man, I can't believe after all these years, like, we're still playing. And I'm like looking at everybody, I'm like, we all look so different too, like, but still kind of the same, you know. It's been a long journey, and it's, I mean, I don't, I don't think many people could say they're doing the same thing they were doing when they were 17 to when they're 30, so. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful for that consistency in my life. It's been a really big impact in a positive way for me. And we've grown together, not only as bandmates, but as, as friends. And I think that friendship that we have plays a really important part in the, uh, you know, continuing what we do, for sure. All right, this is Northeast Traffic. We're just getting ready for uh, next show, 112 with Harsh Armadillo. Ready, boys? This next song is called Jazz Bone. I wrote this song maybe six years ago for our record Rift City. Um, it's an instrumental piece that uh, I composed five unique parts for um, with the only part that is fun to play being the keyboard part because uh, it fits perfectly under my hands and I don't really care about them. Uh, so I wrote them parts that would be just fun for me. And this is that. Thank you. 
For more Ocean State sessions, plus all your Rhode Island PBS favorites, visit ripbs.org.